Okay, Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Muhammad Adam Syukri bin Muhammad Syarif. Nombor pendaftaran saya 09 DEM 200F 2016. Assalamualaikum. Nama saya Hairi Akmal bin Din Azlan 09 DEM 2014. Hai, Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera kepada Encik Zailani. Nama saya Muhammad Aiman Aziz dan nombor pendaftaran saya 09 DEM 200F 2015. Okey, untuk video ini kami akan present untuk case study 1, control system. Uh, in introduction yang pertama adalah revolution of water heater. The person who invent, invent, invented the water heater is Benjamin Wedi Morgan in 1868. Benjamin Wedi Morgan patent a device in 8 1968 that was used to heat water. He called it the gas geyser as it used natural gas to heat the water as it flowed into the tube. He had a great idea for a residential water heater system, but the idea fell short when his heater relied on natural gas and this made it a little too dangerous to use as intended. He did not have a system set up to vent the gas vapors. Therefore, it did not last very long as a method for heating with water. And the second one is Edwin Root was another event innovator that created an update more than 21 years later after Morgan that had many safety features. This device is generally considered the first true home water heater for both of its usability and safety feature. He created a gas heated gas iron appliance with a valve turned by a person that activated on the heater burners. Edwin Root valve the right on to his invention and formed his own company in 1897. Today, Root remains one of the most well-respected names in water heating history, and it is a subsidiary of Rim, one of the water heater brands we use today. And introduction, the second one is the purpose of the water heater is great is to heat water, and the second one is to have a stable and continuous water supply and type of water heater is number one is conventional storage water heater number two is tankless water heater number three is heat pump water heater number four is solar power water heater and the number five is condensing water heater uh, the third slide uh, kita pasal basic element of process control So ada enam elemen iaitu control variable, definition dia what you want to control, temperature, pressure, level, flow rate, dimension or position. Yang kedua measure variable, what you ob observe in order to determine the actual condition of the control variable. Sebagai contoh, uh, contoh kalau kita nak tahu kecepatan kereta, kita kena ukur kelajuan dia. Dalam kes lain, Uh, kes water heater ni, kita boleh ukur uh, pemboleh ubah yang berbeza untuk menentukan keadaan yang terkawal. Sebagai contoh, kita tentukan tahap secara dalam tangki terbuka ataupun bolong dengan mengukur, mengukur tekanan. Untuk ketiga pula, set point. The desert value of the control variable. Untuk contoh yang paling mudah, suhu bilik kita, 70. The, yang keempat, deviation. The difference between the set point and the actual value of the control variable. Sebagai contoh, uh, jika termometer dalaman anda membaca uh, 65 dan kita nak tingkatkan sebanyak 70, sisi hanya ialah 5. Yang kelima adalah man manipulated variable. The variable that is adjusted to close the gap, uh, deviation, differentiation, difference of or error between the set point and the control variable. Sebagai contoh, jumlah elektrik atau gas ke pemanas. Yang keenam, disturbances. Anything that 
affect the process and cold case deviation from the set point. Bagai contoh, tingkat dibiarkan terbuka, penebat yang lemah, termoset yang rosak. Slide yang keempat, menceritakan board diagram dan sister word. Uh, so, kat sini kita boleh lihat uh, rajah, uh, rajah water heater uh, memula dengan power supply dan air sejuk dimasukkan dan heating element tu akan memanaskan air dalam tangki tersebut dan temperature sensor tu akan uh, detect lah sama ada air tu uh, panas pada suhu yang tepat atau tidak. Temperature controller tu contoh kalau air panas tu terlebih uh, dia akan off lah uh, temperature tu. So bila dah temperature tu dah ditetapkan air tu akan keluar uh, sampai situ saja. Okay. <laughs> okay, slide seterusnya uh, berkenaan dengan discussion tentang advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the duration of for cooling and heating is more faster than using the traditional kettle. Safe to operate and efficient use of energy. The disadvantages is the cost for maintenance is quite high. Children need a guide from elders to use. Uh, and susceptible to power outage. In conclusion, water heater is a device that is commonly used nowadays because it will ease the consumer daily life. And by this innovation, it can contribute many positive impact for this era of technology. Itu saja untuk uh, pembentangan kami. Sekian, terima kasih. Terima kasih Tuan. Terima kasih Tuan. Ah, settle. Settle dah. <laughs> Siapa nak cut? I, 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 I